Every man praying or prophesying. So every man praying or prophesying. Right now we're in the spirit of prophecy, okay? Because we're bringing out God's words. Read. Having his head covered. So right now your head is covered. What, what happens when your head's covered and we're bringing out the words? Read. Dishonoreth his head. Who's no, the no. man? Right. Christ. That's right. So right now with your head on, you're dishonoring Christ. So what we're out here to do is teach our people repentance. That's the one thing the church don't do. They tell you come as you are and you can stay that way. But what we're telling you is when you hear God's word, it's time to repent. That's how you know you you know you're showing love to God. Because I can't write him a letter. I can't give him a hug. How do we show we love God? I got a question for you, right? But before you get to that question, let's, let's, I, I, I want you to hear it. Let's read that again. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying having his head covered. And right now, sir, with your head on, you have your head covered. Read. Dishonoring his head. You're dishonoring your head. Sir, did I say that or did the Bible say it? Let me get Isaiah 1 and 5. Isaiah 1 and 5. Because this is what happens when we bring out the word. Because we love to hear we're the greatest people on earth. We love to see God chose us. Christ looks like you, brother. We love to hear these things. But when it comes to God's laws, all of a sudden, we got to go. They got to go. Why? Because it's requiring change. The reason we love the Christian church is because they say, come as you are. Do whatever you want to do. Do whatever makes you feel good. But God's word, God's word requires change. And that's what our community does not want to do. Read. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox, not the owner. The ox. What's the ox? A dumb animal. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. Uh huh. But Israel. Who? But, but Israel. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Don't not know. Uh huh. My people don't not consider. Ah, oh, sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. Laden with iniquity. What's iniquity? Sin. Breaking God's laws. Right. So we don't even know who we are. What the Bible say? A dumb animal like an ox and an ass. If you let them go, okay? Many of y'all may not have farms, but if you let an ox go, if he hears the voice of, of the owner, they're going to recognize that voice. They're going to know where they're home. They know where they get fed. Right. They know where their owner is. But Israel doesn't know. Read that again. Verse 3, the ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Verse 4, ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. Laden with iniquity, full of sin, out of order. Just like we tried to show the brother up here order. What did he do? He walked off. He walked off. Brother, you know that hat you wearing is idolatry? Did you know that? See, our, our people don't even want to talk to us. Read. A seed of evildoers. Uh -huh. Children that are corruptors. Corruptors. Read. They have forsaken the Lord. Forsaken they have who? They have forsaken the Lord. So you forgot about God. You got our people going all kinds of doctrines. Rastafari, Islam, uh, Egyptology, all these different doctrines. But what, are they, what have that done for our communities? What good is knowing about ancient Egypt? How does that help our people right here today in Atlanta? You got single parent homes, you got abortions, you got all this. The, the Fulton County prison looks like a skyscraper. And who fills it up? Our people. That's right. Free. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Hold that. Let's go to Hosea chapter 1. Hosea chapter 1, verse uh, 10, verse 5. Verse 15. Read what you got. Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. What do we read? We're reading the Holy Bible. That's right. That you are the true, true children of Israel. That's right. You won't hear this in church. A lot of y'all say, okay, the white man gave you that book. They gave it to us. Guess what? We already had the book. They just put it back in the hands of the white people. That's what they gave us. But guess what? The prayer of the Lord right here today to give you the true understanding of what the Bible's really saying. Read. Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Come on. I will go and return to my place. Who's speaking? God. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. What is our offense? We turned away from God. We That's turned to all these different religions. That's right. Read. 
and seek my face. Where's his face? This book, the Holy Bible. Where's God's word found? Right here in the Bible. Read. In their affliction. In their affliction. When we get shot down the streets, no justice. We got all kind of single parent homes. Most of our young black men locked up. Read again. In their affliction, Read. they will seek me early. And that's why you see people waking up all over the world, coming back, our people, learning who they are, right. repenting, making changes. But don't get it, don't get it twisted. A lot of us are not gonna get it. A lot of us are gonna keep walking. They don't care, they don't wanna know. But why? Because they're comfortable right here. Lamentations four and two. Let's see, why are we so comfortable in the position that we're in right now? Our people are at the bottom. Most of our people are where? In the hood. Why are our people in the bottom? There's a reason for that. Lamentations 4 and 2. No. Bring it out. Lamentations 4 and 2. Because what we don't understand is that our people are the true children of God. You're not going to hear that in church. So you got questions? Come forward. Come forward. We are here for you. We are here to get the answers to our people. That's what show you. Okay. All right. So, question. The brother wants to know who he is. We mentioned that so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of God. That's right, right. Okay. Now what we're going to do right now, we're going to prove it. How are we going to prove it? Are we going to ask a scientist? Are we going to read some, some foreign books? We're going to read it from the, from the Word of God. Right here, right now. Let me get through the wrong chapter one. And verse one. We're going to start go back to this. Chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These are the words that Moses spake to all Israel, all 12 tribes of Israel, mentioned over 2,000 times in the Bible. Read. On this side, Jordan, in the wilderness. Verse 15. Now, Chapter 28, verse 15. Listen up. No. This is how we know that we are the children of God, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're about to learn today right here on Juneteenth, on this Juneteenth celebration. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. So when a prophet talks, he says it's going to come to pass. That means it's going to happen in the future. It could be five minutes. It could be ten minutes. It could be ten days. It could be a thousand years. But he said what? But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Now, what is this? what do you just say? Let's take it one piece at a time. Because who's speaking? Moses. What is Moses? A prophet. What did he just do? He made a prophecy of something that's going to happen in the future. They did what? If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And who is he talking to? The children of Israel. That's, that's right. right. You don't know who you are. We just read an ox and the ass knows who they are. But Israel, we don't know who we are. I, ask ten of, I can ask all 10 of you right now, who are you? I'll get black, African American, Negro, depending on how old you are. We the only people on earth don't know. Free. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. So what Moses do? He gave us commandments to follow. He gave us commandments. We tried to give the brother a command earlier, he walked off. So you can tell which way this is going. Read. Which I command thee this day? that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now sir, what is a curse? Sister, what's a curse? Something that's just passed down. It's just passed down, yeah. That's one attribute of a curse. What's a curse? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? A what? So even the kids know a curse is a bad right. thing. So Moses said, if you don't listen to his commandments, something bad is gonna happen to all y'all. Read. Verse 16, curse shall not be in the city. What we're about to do now is show you how we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we can take this Bible to court and we can prove that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of God. Yes, right. Everybody ain't a child of God. Matter of fact, hold that. Keep going, keep going. Let's, let's read the first verse. Read. And curse shall not be in the field. Read again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Sir, curse sir, shall not be in the city. And curse shall not be in the field. So the prophet said we're gonna be cursed in the city. How are we cursed in the city? 
What's, what's bad going on with our people, just with our people in the city of Atlanta? Gang? What else? What's going on with our people that's bad that's not happening to nobody else? How about black on black crime? We got Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. You ever heard of Chinese Lives Matter? Peach. What about Asian Lives Matter? White Lives Matter? Well, you know. Yeah, you know who that is. Why do we have to say that our lives matter? Because what? We keep getting gunned down, right? By who? Okay. Now, last time I checked, I looked on the news, we get shot by each other too. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So we only read one curse. We got a whole lot more curses in here that describe. Matter of fact, let me get the sign, 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. So you can't run from these curses. Because guess what? You got black on black crime here in Atlanta, right? Is it in Chicago? Is it in LA? Is it in New York? So wherever we go, read that again. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and, and shall pursue thee. They're going to chase after you. They're going to find you wherever you go. Because guess what? Our people spread out everywhere. We're all over the world. Everywhere you go, you know who we are because of these curses. Please. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed. We're, right now, we're destroyed as a people. Right. We are destroyed. We can't even come together for anything. Why does everybody have one little tent? Why can't we come together and open one big business? Because we're destroyed. We hate each other. We're killing each other. We don't have God's law. Free. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. They say the same thing again. Yeah. I know. Right now, we would not listen to God. Just like the brother here earlier, we would not listen to God. Okay, so it's not hard to believe. Most of our people are into so many different doctrines that this is the last place they would consider the answer to all of our problems are. Read. To keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So how do we know we are most important? How do we know that right now we're saying most important? The name, the name, the name, what? What's that little green thing up there? It's a sign. It's a sign. Read And they, and they mean the curses that we just read about. Just one. We only read one. Read. Shall be upon thee. It's going to be on the people of the children of Israel. The same people Moses was talking about. Read. For a sign and for a wonder. And people are going to wonder why it's such a great people. That's the bottom of society. They got all kind of names for us. They're going to wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. What's the seed? What's that talking about? Okay. So I'm talking about so can you plant seeds? And I'm not talking about the growth of the ground. There you go. There you go. So is this your son? Is this, is your, so this is the seed. So read that again. Because this is serious. Read. And upon thy and upon thy seed, which means your children, read. Forever. 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 Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Now, because our people, our forefathers, way back then, the same people didn't follow God's laws then, like they're not following now, these curses, these bad things, mean the black on black crowd, a uh, single parent home, all this is going to be on you and your kids forever until we come back to God's law. You see where we are here, brother? Okay, I'll pray. You understand where we are? Now, keep, keep going. There's more on that. Verse 48. Therefore, shall thy son thine enemy. Say what? Therefore, shall thy son thine enemy. So not only are we cursing the city, okay? We also have to serve our enemies. Serve our enemies. Have you ever heard this in church, sister? Sister, sister, have you ever heard the church that we have enemies? You heard that? What about you? Have you ever heard that church? You've never heard that church. Okay. Read it again. We need Therefore, to again. shall thy son thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. Who sin our enemies against us? The Lord shall sin against thee. Who sin our enemies against us? The Lord shall sin against thee. Read. In hunger. Uh -huh. 
and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. So, brother, anything you want, that great towel you got around your neck, who'd you have to buy it from? Yeah, who'd you have to buy it from? Okay, do we own the store? I'm on this way. Not that store. What about those shoes? Did you get it from somebody that looked like you? Or you had to buy it from the store? What store? Who? Who? 
And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. When we got over here, we were sold. What we're stating are facts. Where these facts coming from? The Holy Bible. It's been in your church for years. It's been in your grandmother's house for years, sitting on the dresser. But we are we have not read this book. We have not got the understanding. That's why we're out here. To teach our right. people the truth. Because if we don't teach this truth, who's gonna teach it to us? Get out! Who? No one but the prophets of the most high God. Read yes, that's right. right again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Now, who brought us over here? Who? I only got two kids that's not afraid to say it. That's because we're mentally sick right now. Okay, we've been taught to forget about it. But guess what we're going to do? We're going to talk about it. Read it And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women. When we not sold to slaves, we keep, when we got those cargo slave ships. This is not an opinion. This is a fact. When we got off the cargo slave ships, we got sold to our enemies until Juneteenth. That's we right. didn't even know we was free. Yes. Get out. Juneteenth, we didn't even know what day. We didn't have an exact date. We just had to go around and tell everybody, hey, you're free. You're free now. But guess not. Guess what? We still ain't free. Yes. Uh, we're still not free. Matter of fact, hold that. Bring keep it going. Keep going. Keep going. And no man shall buy you. No man. No man is going to get you out of this slavery. Bring it out. Martin Luther King didn't get us out. Bring it out. Nat Turner made a valiant effort, but we, we were still in slavery. Marcus Garvey, it's a grain of truth. Name a black hero, Malcolm X. Martin Luther King said, Harry Tubman, Martin Luther King said, I want to love my enemies, so I can't love them no more. Malcolm X said, by any means necessary. But we, but what did the most I say? And no man shall buy you. No man is going to buy you, which means get you, redeem you. That's an old quick word, buy, which means to redeem you. Once you go into this slavery, no man is going to get you out. Because contrary to proper belief, we're still on the bottom now. We're still on the slave now. You got one crime away from going back into the physical slavery with the chains around your neck. An unknown statistic is that most of our black men right now, right now, are in jail more in jail now than there were in slavery, the slavery in the 1800s. That's what I'm mean, no. All right, so, because all this happened to us, why did this happen to us? I need somebody to tell me right now, why did all this happen to us, our people? Why? I need you to speak up. I need you, so all these people right here, they need to know. Use your man voice. You like a man, you, you play sports, you wrestler, I need you to talk in a man's voice. Turn around and tell them why this happened to our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Three. I mean, go ahead. Go ahead tell them. We let it happen. Oh, uh, come on, bro. You can be better than that. Tell your people. These are your people. They need to know that. Three. Tell me. Tell them. Tell them. We told them because we let it happen because we didn't, we didn't stand up for We just let it. We didn't let it come on. Let it roll us. We could have took over. And we could have, we could have, we could have all bind together and have that and took them down. We just let it happen. Alright, so for those of you just joining us, what we was just going over is how why our people went into slavery. We're celebrating our freedom, so-called emancipation from slavery, but we never learned why we went into slavery in the first place. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.